Welcome to Movie Caps. Today, I will show you an American drama from 2021, titled, The Unforgivable. Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. Ruth Slater, who has been in prison for about 20 years for killing a cop, is to be released this morning. As she packs, she remembers a memory with her little sister Katie. She wrote several letters to Katie while she was in prison, but didn't get any reply. She writes another letter to tell her she is leaving prison. Katie has been adopted by an overprotective family. She has a lot of childhood trauma, so she is always paranoid and lost in thought. On the same day, while she is driving on the road, she crashes into a car and has an accident. Ruth meets her parole officer Vince, who tells her the ten commands of a prisoner let out on parole. He tells her that the important thing is to get a job, she replies she has a job, but he insists and gives her a card to a fish company. Meanwhile, Keith, the eldest son of the cop who Ruth killed, tails her with the motive of getting revenge for the death of his father. Vince takes Ruth home, where she is introduced to the hostile rules and taken to her room. Keith visits his brother Steve at his workplace, and tells him that Ruth has been released, and they should work together to get revenge for their father's death. Steve says that he has a family to protect, and won't do anything to jeopardize the future of his young kid. He informs his brother he isn't interested in revenge, and that he too should let it go. Katie is taken to the hospital, her adoptive parents ask her to live with them for a while, in fear that the accident may have been caused by her childhood trauma, and the trigger could be that Ruth had been released. At the hostel, Ruth thinks about her sister and tries to find her address, but to no avail. She receives a call from Keith, who calls her a cop killer and ends the call. When she gets back to her room, her roommate is searching her bag, she gets into a fight with her. Their former apartment where the murder happened, is now occupied by a new family. The next day, she goes to the place she earlier worked as a carpenter. The owner doesn't employ her again, so she calls the fish company and starts working there. After she finishes work the first day, she goes to the library to browse the adoption history of her sister, and later goes to her former home. While she looks at the house from afar, she remembers the day the incident happened, the cops were all around the house to evict her and her sister from the house, she insisted she would leave, and the cop entered the house and was shot. While she looks at the house, the new owner John approaches her, she tells him she came to check the house because she once worked in the house. John invites her in and introduces her to his wife Liz. She remembers her memories with Katie all over the house, forgetting she needs to take the bus. John offers to drive her home. In the car, she learns that John is a pro bono lawyer, but he works in the corporate sector as a trust fund lawyer. She tells John she needs a family lawyer. John, who knows she had been lying right from the start, confronts her, asking her what exactly she wants, and she explains her situation to John, she tells him she had written to her sister and just wants to know if she was okay. John feels compassionate and decides to help her, he gives her his card and asks her to call him. Katie speaks with her adoptive sister, and tells her she has flashes of her childhood memories, but she really can't figure out what they were. She says she was always with a woman in the flashes, so her sister suggests that they try to find the woman, but Katie refuses the offer. Ruth sees a construction center, enters, and speaks with the worker if she could work there, they reply they were working for an NGO, and had no funds for more employees. She builds a stand in a few minutes, surprising the worker, who then asks her to work immediately. Vince asks her if she told her boss she is an ex-convict, and she replies negatively. After work one day, she calls John, and says he had the right to get angry because she didn't tell him the truth, but he should help her contact her sister. He asks her to visit his office. Liz gets in contact with the real estate manager to ask about Ruth, and they tell her about the crime that got Ruth convicted. Liz accuses her husband of hiding Ruth's truth from her, she tells him he can do anything professionally, but he should never bring Ruth to her home again. A party is organized for the cops, where one of the cops tells Steve about Ruth and her working place, he calls his brother out angrily, and asks why he couldn't let go of the issue. Keith accuses him of forgetting their father, he tells him their life got destroyed due to Ruth's acts, and they need to take revenge. Steve visits their mother in a coma, and feels very bad. Steve visits Ruth at work, pretending to be one of the wood delivering men. He appreciates her work and says her parents must be proud of her, Ruth replies her parents are no more, and says, life goes on. Her words make Steve angry, he steals a picture of Katie, and starts planning his revenge. He meets his brother, and they make a plan to take their revenge on Katie. Katie's adoptive parents receive a letter from John, asking them to meet with Ruth at least once. The adoptive parents deliberate if they should go to the meeting, the wife Rachel agrees to go, but her husband refuses. As they are talking, Emily, their younger daughter, 
eavesdrops and hears all about it. At the fish company the next day, word gets out that Ruth is a cop killer, and Patty, one of her colleagues, attacks her. Vince takes her on a drive to make her feel better, he tells her Katie's parents have agreed to grant her an audience. Later, after her parents leave the house with Katie, Emily searches the whole house looking for the letters Ruth sent to Katie. The meeting is scheduled, and they all arrive. Katie's father insists that a no-contact order is given by the court, because Katie has been through a lot of issues, and deserves a chance to have a good life, and Ruth should give her that chance. They tell her Katie doesn't have any memory of her and she shouldn't try to contact her. She asks if her letters were delivered to Katie, and they tell her they didn't show Katie any of the letters, which makes her angry. While leaving the office, Rachel tells her that she didn't destroy any of her letters. Emily finds all the letters and reads them. Later, Ruth gets angry and destroys her workshop. She receives a call from Emily, who asks to see her, and they schedule to meet. Emily skips school to meet with Ruth. Ruth tells her she wishes she had the opportunity to go to school, but she couldn't go to school because her little sister was too young. She says she would have done anything for her sister. They both share the sweet memories they have of Katie. Emily tells Ruth that Katie had been traumatized, and doesn't remember her at all. Leaving Ruth, Emily tells her that Katie would be at her piano concert at 4 p.m., and she can go there to see her. Steve goes home, and catches his brother Keith having sex with his wife. He beats him up, angrily leaves the place, goes to his father's house, and picks up a gun. Ruth, on the other hand, tries to call John to know if she can go see Katie. John doesn't pick up his call, so she decides to visit his house. She meets Liz, who shouts at her and asks her to leave her house, she says Ruth lost her right to see Katie the moment she killed the cop, and is suffering for her own wrongdoings. In tears, Ruth begs Liz to help her contact John, so she can see her sister. Exhausted, she screams that she protected Katie. Liz asks her what exactly happened that day, and she tells her that Katie is the one who killed the cop, but she took the blame for her sister, because she was just five. Liz decides to take her to the concert. As they drive by the ice cream store, she remembers the last memory she spent with Katie before she was arrested. As they get to the location, she receives a call from Steve, who has kidnapped Emily thinking she is Katie. Steve asks her to meet at a designated location. After reaching there, she begs Steve to leave Emily, and says Emily isn't at fault. She figures that Steve is the late cop's son and expresses remorse. She says that his father was a kind man. Liz, who is outside, calls the police. Katie is at the concert playing the piano. As she plays she remembers all her memories with Ruth, and how Ruth was arrested in front of the ice cream store. The police arrive, they arrest Ruth and Steve, and Vince comes by to take custody of Ruth, and she is released. As she begins to walk away, she notices that Emily's parents and Katie have come to pick up Emily. Katie, who now recognizes her sister, finally meets Ruth and hugs her passionately. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications and leave a like to help the channel out.